how to approach the the scan when your goal is a realistic final product um, how to approach it when your goal is a base mesh um, how to approach features and feature recognition failure and grounding so when your goal is realistic then obviously a realistic object you'll approach it very differently or could approach it very differently and maybe should approach it very differently than when your goal is a base mesh um, when your goal is a realistic scan then textures will be extrapolated directly from the scan so your lighting has to be very even you're most probably going to override if you're using your phone you'll install an app that will override your phone's um, white balance and manual exposure um, so you'll use that if you use a DSLR you use manual exposure you'll add nothing to the scene and you'll set it up as close as possible to the final product or the final 3d model that you want however if your goal is just a base mesh then your lighting is not that important you're going to read topo and probably retexture. texture um, you don't need manual exposure for for obvious reasons then um, and you can define features on an object um, to help Meshroom um, distinguish, help the camera pick up features that are in dark or light places. Now, in this example, we add this blue shoe on the inside of the shoe, and on the inside, if you look at it from the front and then on the left, the left was a little bit darker and I had to use yellow tape strips all around um, that I added on a in a different way on the left side of the shoe than on the right side of the shoe just to help measure and pick up differences in different areas um, which brings me to the next point features you'll see in the in the shoe on the inside um, at the top it was quite difficult to get a, a scan that didn't fail in the area where your foot goes in because it's dark I think Meshroom just struggled with recognition but when I taped use yellow tape to outline that edge um, the scan success rate went from constantly failing to, to constantly succeeding fourth point is grounding there's two primary tests that I did here and one was by grounding the shoe and moving cameras around it and the second test was grounding the camera and moving the shoe or rotating the shoe and the, the finding was quite interesting in that a uh, mushroom wants to it seems to want to use the environment as a tracker um, in the different points going around so where I had the camera traveling going around the shoe the scan success rate was pretty much 100% or very close to but when I had the camera static and rotated the shoe the failure rate of the scan was 100% so it seems to, to want to be able to track its environment or track the, 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 the scene and build the model using different points in the environment which is I think a, quite an interesting find this is just little four little points in the recap there's a difference between approaching a scan realistic than approaching a base mesh Outline features if you can and recognize that you're going to use ground as tracking. Let me know if this was helpful. There will be more to come soon.